Welcome to the Transformation Debrief. I'm Chris Hood, a digital strategist at Google Cloud and your host. In each episode, we aim to stir visionary thinking and share unexpected insights on transformation initiatives and lessons learned along the way. I'm happy to be joined today by my co-host, Amy Eshelman. Amy, would you mind sharing a little bit about yourself and your role at Google? Hi, I'm Amy. I'm part of our retail industry solutions group at Google. Ulta Beauty is the largest U.S. beauty retailer carrying over 25,000 products from 500 established and emerging beauty brands, including Ulta Beauty's own private label. In April 2022, Ulta Beauty announced a 12-month revenue of $9 billion, an increase of 30.6% year over year. Ulta Beauty is redefining the beauty industry by creating personalized experiences that blur the lines between store and digital. Their focus on innovation has been a true point of differentiation. And in this episode, we're going to dive into that transformation. We have an incredible guest joining us today from Alta Beauty. Please welcome Prama Bot. Hi, Chris. Hi, Amy. It's great to be here. My name is Prama. I'm the Chief Digital Officer of Alta Beauty. When we think about technology and we think about these digital experiences, we often lose that human connection in the process. Prama, how are you maintaining that relationship as you're driving more sales through digital channels? Yeah, human connection and, and being personal is at the heart of, of all things digital and physical. I would say, interestingly enough, through the pandemic, I think I think we've all learned that uh, even pre-pandemic, but definitely during the pandemic, that uh, our phones and our digital devices are key connectors. It, 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 they are relationship builders. Um, whether it's your family or your friends or your favorite brands, um, your communities. And so the idea that that technology and device is a connector is at the heart of how we think about the digital experiences. So one of the things that I think a lot of retailers are struggling with is actually connecting the dots between that digital personalization and the in-store experience. How are you looking at that? Yeah, I mean, we really love um, the fact that our, our store experience is at the heart of of our entire beauty journey. It's where all things digital and physical come come together. We've made some really great strides uh, in terms of thinking about digital experiences. Um, obviously, our loyalty program uh, allows for our store associates to have insight about our loyalty members, and that helps provide a little bit more color. Uh, but we have a way to go, quite frankly, Chris, in terms of really powering our associates um, with all of the information um, because there's so much to sort through from an assortment perspective. And so what we're working on currently is thinking about, you know, what I would consider clienteling 2.0 of the future, where we really power our understanding um, like we do in our digital channels, whether they be our marketing channels or our owned channels on our site and app, uh, and, and, and create kind of a super powered associate with all that uh, knowledge base. And that's something the team's in the middle of concepting right now. And we're really excited about how that incremental knowledge can really help guide the experience. In the meantime, we have really great digital tools that oftentimes a guest can do on their own, but will do with an associate. It might be a hair color try-on tool. It might be a virtual try-on experience. Um, uh, it might be taking the skin analysis um, with the associate and then going through a guided journey in the store. So we have these tools that help guide the relationship between our associate and the guest, but really looking forward to this, uh, you know, this evolution and, and next step in, in super powering our associates. Prama, so many lines were blurred during the last two years during the pandemic, especially the line between digital and the store. And I'm curious, as you think about the customer behavior that changed first because it had to, and then because we just got into some new habits, what do you think about or how do you think about that consumer experience going forward? From a digital perspective, like most retailers, we saw our digital adoption significantly increase. Um, and, you know, early days, we all were wondering whether that, uh, you know, increase would stick or whether it was going to kind of revert back. And uh, we're really, really enthused by what we're seeing, which is continued sticky behavior in digital and omni channels as well as uh, you know, store traffic 
uh, not only stabilizing and going back to pre-pandemic levels, but exceeding pre-pandemic levels. So the idea that we were able to sustain and, and stick the adoption versus not for us is, a, is, is, is really uh, critical as we think about our future strategies. So it's not that that's something new coming out of the pandemic, but the ease in which it's just part of the experience now and an expectation in every industry uh, is, uh, is really awesome. And what we're seeing is our buy online pickup in store growth as one of our largest growing channels. Um, so I would say, you know, omni-channel behavior, digital adoption of tools as well as the channel, and real, uh, you know, just a real portfolio view on what's relevant to, to people, um, you know, coming out of the pandemic. How does cloud help you be nimble and to maintain that customer-centric perspective that you have? Yeah, I mean, the cloud is a key part of our ecosystem of the future. When we think about our digital stack that powers all of our experiences um, and we think about data, uh, you know, and capturing insights, um, you know, uh, our partnership with the Google Cloud and the uh, choice we made early on, both through our Guest 360 as well as our Digital Store of the Future program, uh, really set us up for what we believe will allow our insights and, and data to be mined and uh, you know and captured faster, so that we can use those to create experiences, and more importantly, the ability to to deliver uh, and performant and and uh, expected uh, you know experiences um, from our guests. So really, really excited uh, as we stand up the digital store of the future um, with partners in partnership with Google and Google Cloud. Part of transformation is definitely a culture of the organization. So how have you been able to maintain that culture at Ulta Beauty, or have you seen any major changes over the last couple of years just from your employee perspective? Yeah, you know, the culture at Ulta Beauty is uh, magic in my mind, quite frankly, Chris. It's a values-based culture, it's a highly inclusive culture, and it's definitely a culture that believes in collaboration. And so we really, like most organizations, saw um, even more collaboration uh, coming through the pandemic in terms of being able to stabilize, rebuild, and you know get everyone pointed in a in a in a direction that kept safety first, um, which was key, uh, and then also kept the consumer at the center. When we think about transformation, obviously we've transformed as we've already talked about over the course of the last couple of years, and retail has transformed over the last decade or so. But how has your team transformed maybe recently and what does the next three or four or five years look like from your team perspective? Yeah, that's that's a great point, Chris, because this really is all fueled by people. There's no question. It's it's uh, people and culture. And we've been on a journey of building capabilities, um, in some cases catching up, in some cases taking steps forward. But the focus on really thinking about the guest at the center and thinking about experiences and thinking about those as the outcome and letting that be the starting point versus a feature or a function or a set of requirements um, is probably the largest transformation that we're undergoing along uh, with a program that we call our digital store of the future. Um, and that starts to bring um, you know, uh, digital optimization, user experience, customer insights um, in a next level way uh, into the way we think about creating products and experiences. Okay, I'm going to ask my final question and you will see that my retail roots are showing here because I know that holiday planning is in full effect right now, always, but especially right now. And at every holiday season is totally different than the last. What do you think is going to be different about 2022. Yeah, I think 2022. I wish I had a crystal ball, Amy, because this is this is a it's a it's it's a very robust year already. Um, you know, I think we have some of the lingering elements. I feel like we've done a really great job. Our supply chain team and our inventory teams have done an awesome job getting ahead. Because um, as you mentioned, uh, holidays a full year. Uh, 365 a day <laughs> process. You're either in it or you're working on it, right? Uh, so there's no question that is a key uh, strategy around uh, around holiday. But our expectations are, uh, you know, that from a macro perspective, 
uh, guests are going to be highly engaged in the holiday, that this uh, revival that we're seeing right now in um, you know, getting back to uh, opening up and being connected and human connection is going to continue on um, through through the holiday holiday season, and that it will be uh, a really critical part of, of of the year, like it always is, but it, even in a in a bigger way. Well, once again, thank you, Prama, for joining us. It, it's been a true delight. Thank you so much for having me and allowing us to share a little bit about our team and the Alta Beauty story. And thank you, Amy, for being my co-host. Of course, it was really fun. If you would like to learn more about Ulta Beauty, we have two channels for you to explore. At cloud.google.com slash transform, we dive deeper into this transformation journey and you can tune into that digital show to hear the extended podcast version of this conversation. And don't forget to hit subscribe and join us again for more visionary thinking and lessons learned on the next episode of The Transformation Debrief.